Welcome back to MuscleMentor.net. I'm here with Justin Harris and I'm Brad Hall. And uh, next we're going to talk about whether or not you really need a fast protein uh, source post-workout. You, you hear now uh, just all the time the anabolic, that, window. The anabolic window and you need a, a, a extremely, uh, the, the fastest absorbing uh, protein source mm -hmm. you, can, you can possibly find uh, during that yeah. the magical window. So. Yeah, and that's... That's actually, that's, that's almost a logical fallacy. We talked about in another video about this, the true secret was consistency. Uh, and the, the whole fast protein, the whey protein stuff after workout is really the greatest marketing gimmick in history. They created this whole post-workout anabolic window where people will, you know, eat cereal for breakfast, pizza for dinner, and not worry about nutrition all day, but they'll spend $30 a day on their post-workout window making this super concoction that their shirt's going to turn them into, you know, turn them into Phil Heath. Uh, you, if... The point, the problem is, it's like I said, it's kind of like a fallacy. If is if you need fast protein after your workout, you're not doing something right. You would need fast proteins and immediately, uh, immediate spike in blood amino acids if you're low in blood amino acids. Mm -hmm. But you're if you're eating properly, you there should never be a period of time when you are de deficient in amino acids. If you're eating like we said, meat and rice or meat and. Uh, fat sources every two to three hours throughout the day, meat takes hours to digest. So if you've ever been sick in the afternoon after, you know, seven hours after eating a steak, you puke up that steak. Right. Those amino acids are slowly releasing into the bloodstream and it, that's the way it should be. You should, even after your workout, there should not be a drop in blood amino acids. And so almost, almost by default, if you need a fast protein source after a workout, you're not going to grow because, because you're doing things wrong. And if you are eating the way you should eat, then you shouldn't be low in blood amino acids after workout. That doesn't mean you shouldn't have a protein shake after your workout, and it doesn't mean the post-workout meal isn't important. But that's another thing that you'll always notice the difference between gym rats and pro bodybuilders. Gym rats always have their post-workout concoction with 27 different ingredients, uh, you know, that they that they panic if they don't get within 15 minutes after the workout. Where if you ever watch a video of a pro bodybuilder, they eat a whole food meal after the workout. And the reason is, is when you're eating, you know, every two to three hours, you know, meat and complex carbs, and meat and and, uh, and fat sources. Your blood amino acids are like this. If you're eating like the gym rat, your blood amino acids are like this. And after a workout, they are down here, so you need to spike them up. But if you're eating properly, you keep those blood amino acids steady. And I know a lot of bodybuilders, top, you know, a lot of pros don't even have a technical post-workout meal. They just eat every three hours. And so if their next three-hour meal comes after a workout, it does. But if it doesn't come till an hour after the workout, it doesn't come till then. And you don't, you know, and it's because your blood amino acid levels should be steady throughout the day. And so the workout, that, do, that isn't to say that the whole peri-workout area isn't important. It is, it, it is very important to have, I, I'm a firm believer in peri-workout nutrition, uh, eat, drinking, you know, uh, a high molecular weight carbohydrate, uh, trying to keep insulin levels spiked during your workout and trying to get amino acids in your, in, during your workout. But that's, that's the... That's the one percent of a you know where ninety nine percent of the nutrition is is all those other meals, and that's the big difference because people at the gym, the gym rats, worry about that one percent, you know, where if they just totally ignore that one percent but did the other ninety nine percent perfectly, that one percent really doesn't it's matter. Like a different a different person. Yeah, and so if you know, I'm not against even having a protein drink and things like that after a workout, but if you need a rapidly digested source of, of protein, you're doing something wrong.